Greetings my lovelies, hi it's Emmy. welcome back to another You Made What? Today I have another retro recipe for you, and it is this. Can you believe it? This is a liverwurst pineapple. Don't you want to make one? <laughs> so this recipe comes from my mother-in-law's old Better Homes and Gardens new cookbook. This is the first page of the appetizer section, and when I saw it, I knew I had to make it. I've done a couple other retro recipes. If you missed those videos, I should put the links down below. And if you like these retro recipes, be sure to subscribe for more making and eating. <laughs> All right, so let's go in the kitchen and I'll show you how I put this together. So this is what I'll be attempting to recreate. Here's a recipe. So first we're gonna make the coating for the pineapple. Add two tablespoons of cold water into a bowl and sprinkle two packages of unflavored gelatin on top. Then we're gonna place the bloom jello on top of a bowl of boiling water and get everything nicely melted. All right, so at this point, the gelatin is nicely melted and it does have a very funny smell. <laughs> and then next, you're supposed to add one cup of mayonnaise. So I didn't want my pineapple to be white, so I added about one teaspoon of turmeric just to give it a little bit of color. Then I chilled it. So while the coating is cooling, we're gonna build the guts of our pineapple. And we need some liver sausage, and I just use this. It's liverwurst, also known as Braunschweiger. We need two eight ounce packages. Remove the casing, add that to the bowl, and add one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice and one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Then use a fork and mash this up. And this takes a little bit of time and elbow grease. So once the sausage is nicely broken up, we're gonna add one quarter cup of mayonnaise. Mix that really well. Now you don't want this mixture to get too warm, so if it's gotten soft, you might wanna place it in the refrigerator, otherwise your filling will not stay on the glass. Next, we're gonna take an eight ounce jelly jar and invert it onto a plate, and then take our liver mixture and cover the entire jar. Spread a little at a time and use some pressure to really apply it to the jar so it sticks. Then smooth everything out. Again, you wanna use some decent pressure here so you have some good adhesion to your glass jar. Okay, once it's smooth, place it into the refrigerator to set up. One last thing, you wanna give it a nice little smooth flat top so your pineapple top will have something even to rest on. Next, to make our pineapple look authentic, we're gonna take a real pineapple and slice off the top. And for decoration, we're gonna need some pimento-filled olives and we're just gonna cut these crosswise. We get these nice little slices. Now it's time to assemble. We bring back our chilled meat and our chilled frosting and place the pineapple topper right on top. Give it a little twist so it settles nicely into the liverwurst. Then take a butter knife and spread the mayonnaise mixture all over the outside. Once your pineapple is coated, put it back in the fridge to allow it to set a little bit more. Next, we're gonna score the surface. And I found the best tool for this was actually a chopstick. And instead of dragging it across, kind of just press it into the mixture nice and deeply so you get these really nice score marks. Next, we're gonna just take our sliced olives and we're gonna put them right in the middle of each cross section to make our pineapple look like a pineapple. Finally, we're gonna garnish with a little bit of curly parsley and serve with crackers. And there you are, a liver sausage pineapple. And we're back. And before I taste this thing, I want to remark that there was a little bit of technical difficulty with the frosting that was on the outside of this. It came to a very strange texture and not at all the consistency that was pictured in the book. If you end up making this, I might just skip the whole gelatin portion altogether and just maybe stick with mayo and a little bit of turmeric. All right, so let's get to the best part, the tasting. <laughs> I don't want to cut into this thing. Oh my gosh, there it is. So there's <laughs> the yellow mayo concoction with the liverwurst in the middle. And uh, let's make sure we get an olive on there as well. Wow, there it is. A beauty to behold. All right, here we go. Eat the lucky mouse. Mm, it's really not, not too bad. Of course, you have to like liverwurst with a taste of liver pate, but that's a predominant flavor, which is not surprising because the whole guts of the thing is liverwurst. It has a chicken liver flavor to it, and of course, you can taste the Worcestershire, and it has some mayo in it as well, but it's really not too bad. It tastes like liverwurst or kind of a pate. It's not as creamy or rich or as smooth as a typical pate, but 
Mm -hmm. It does have kind of a smell. <laughs> it smells like bologna and liver and mayo, which smells kind of gross, frankly, but it actually doesn't taste too bad at all. Yeah. And it looks beautiful. <laughs> All right, so that was a liverwurst pineapple dip. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if there's any recipes that you'd like me to test out. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. We're gonna place Mr. Elephant on the line, and then we're gonna place Mr. Panda, and then we're gonna battle. Real pineapple, fake pineapple.